How's it going, everyone? Uh, it's day two of my um, creating a game for iPhone with Cocos 2D. So today I actually did quite a bit, so I'm going to try and fit as much as I can. It'll probably end up being two videos. I'm going to try and keep it down to two videos for YouTube. Um, but what I've done so far is I've taken uh, in day one, I've taken um, a template and I added a, a menu scene and a game scene menu scene was just one button clicked over to a game scene which I then did an animated sprite on so that's where I sort of ended off on day one day two um, we're uh, spent most of the time trying to get um, a tile map in the background so that I could scroll the tile map and I got that to work and then I spent uh, the rest of the day working on a joypad which I took from uh, well I went onto a website 71 squared they had a joypad on there uh, it didn't quite work because they're not using Cocos 2D but I did take well pretty much their image and then the concept that uh, that they were using I think it's Mike that made that one um, so I took that concept and I rewrote it from scratch so that it would work in Cocos 2D and it ended up being quite simple um, once I figured it out so I'm going to take you through what I've done first video here tile map so the changes made to the last code here, I just enumerated uh, a tag for my tile map. And so I have only one, so there's the tag one. Down in my uh, init, uh, we left off with the player. I have the player location. And then I wrote this tile map code. And the tile map is very, very simple with Coco's 2D. It's that much code. So you just go through, you add a tile map for background. Uh, well, sorry, that's my little note to myself. So anyways, I, I do a CCTMX tile map. Just gave it a name, map. And then we uh, we create a map with a, a TMX file. So this file right here, I just took from the template, um, or the uh, Cocos 2D download tests. Uh, so I went to the resources, and they have a whole bunch of different tile maps there. But I just grabbed this one, orthogonal test 2 TMX. So the, the map you're going to see is not what I'm going to use, but it's just there just to play around with. Um, so then we just add that to the child, add the map. Give it a Z of negative 1, because I want that to be in the background. Everything else I want to be on top of it. When I get into um, multiple layers, then that's where I'm going to uh, fool around with the Z. You do that within uh, the program. The one that I've uh, been told to use and I fooled around a bit with is called Tiled. You can go download that for free and you can set properties for your layers. So that'll give it sort of the three-dimensional where you can walk in behind some stuff. Uh, again, the tag is K tiled map from the beginning I mentioned. And then all we do is just give, uh, just um, set the size to a, uh, I guess, variable or whatever you want to call it. So uh, CG size S equals map dot context size. And the log, I just have it put in here. I've seen that done. So it throws the size of the content, which would be this tile map into the log and then we do a uh, CC sprite sheet mm, child in uh, the map children the child texture which would be the map set in the alias make it a bit cleaner looking then map run action uh, and this is there it doesn't have to be there just a run action so I took this out of a tutorial um, and what it does is if I change the scale here when you first uh, load up the scene the map will actually uh, go down to a certain scale. So I could change it. Right now it's just uh, scale of 1. So the map is just looking at it at a normal view. And it has the action and duration, so how long it takes to get to that scale. But this can, we don't really need that. Um, and that's it for the, uh, the map. Uh, one thing I did do is I started fooling around with touches. So I have this in here. I'll get to all this when I get to the joypad. But touches moved um, down here. I created, well first off, you have to up here, we created the touches move, um, touch location. So I, I grab the touch location, and I grab a previous location, because it's going to be moved, so I'm going to touch one spot, and then I'm going to move my finger to a new, so the first spot and the last spot. From those two um, uh, numbers, we're going to, or locations, we're going to figure out, um, first we convert it to GL, so that it converts it to um, proper orientation and since we're using landscape it's going to fix that for us. Previous uh, location I convert that number and then 
For now, I have it set previous location y is equal to touch location y. So when I move my finger, if my finger changes on the y-axis, I'm telling it not to move the map or not to uh, calculate that change in distance, right? I want it to stay the same. What that's going to do is make it so the map can't score up and down. I don't really need that right now, so it makes things a little bit easier. Uh, CG point difference would be the uh, difference between the touch and the previous, obviously. So uh, what I do then is I just, uh, this is all part of the uh, joypad, but what I do for the map part here is I create a node, which in my header I have a CC node and gave it a name node. And I have that um, assign itself by a tag, which is the, the K tag tile map, which is the map reason. And I have a CG point. The current position is the node position, so the position of the map. And then node set position is I'm going to add to the current position, which is right here, the difference, which we calculated up at the top here, uh, the diff. So uh, the change from my finger from the time I push down to moving it that's the difference. I'm going to add that to the current position of the map, and it's actually going to scroll the map for me. So uh, that's three lines. This I can reuse a whole bunch of times. It's another like six lines, so that's nine. Plus up here, probably another uh, ten lines, maybe right here in the map. So not too many lines, and I got a scrolling uh, background. But I'll show you that um, after. Let's just see how much time I have. Six minutes. Okay, so I got about four minutes. So what I'll do is. Um, show you what we get here um, for the resources for this tile map okay and it's actually pretty easy people always ask um, how you do this now, I haven't created one yet but um, what this is doing is my tile map here the orthogonal test TMX there this is grabbing this TMX file here and this is created out of a program you, uh, I guess the most popular one is called tiled t-i-l-e-d um, and that creates this image right here, or this file right here. And it's another sort of XML file. Main thing to understand here is the tile width, tile height. What we must understand that, how much each tile is uh, in size, and then the total uh, size of the map is 64 by 64. So um, there's 64. That means 64 tiles wide, 64 tiles high. And then the next thing here is image source fix ortho test to PNG. So that is the image that it's using to uh, fill these tile spaces in. Okay. So that's the main part of it. So what I want to do is just show you that PNG. And this is something that you can create with the program from day one, um, creating the sprite sheets, is you can create something along these, this line. So all it is is a bunch of different uh, sprites in here, so I got a bunch of ground sprites there. This is all taken off of the Cocos 2D uh, test and resource folder. Um, so all of these different sprite objects were just created and, and placed into a PNG file. And then when we close that, uh, what you do is you uh, put that in as a tile sheet into tiled program, and use those tiles to create your um, overall map, which is which then creates this. TMX file, which is then uh, Coco 2S uses. Um, so we'll go up here, game scene. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, that is the tile map here. It just pulls that file in, which uses that tile, or which uses the sprite sheet, all those different images, and then lines them all up based on uh, the CC TMX tile map uh, class, I'm guessing it would be, or method. So that is that, so what we'll do is we'll just finish that off. Um, I will show you what that looks like for this video. Uh, 9 minutes 13 seconds, so let's run this real quick. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like for the tile map. So, I have, I'm going to talk about this joystick down here before. This was from day one, the animated sprite. And if I just move my finger, I can scroll this tile map back and forth. Okay. Now this isn't actually what's going to be used for the game. Uh, you don't actually scroll the background um, like this, so this is just for testing. But you can see I can't go up and down, so I've, I've made that lock, and I can, but I can go left and right. Another problem I have, I'm going to have to figure out how to make it so that there's boundaries for the map, so I can't go past the map, like here. I'm at the end of the map and just scrolling. 